I offer my obeisances time and again unto my spiritual master and unto Sri Gaurachandra, Sri Mati Radhika, her associates in her holy abode, Sri Vrindavan, and unto Sri Krishna, his devotees, and the devotees of his devotees. So, we've ended the last discussion with the observation that if one misuses uh, the term of God's will for worldly power claims, one is forced downwards into duality and uh, lesser states of consciousness. And that is a big problem of the so-called monotheism. Monotheism means that one has a certain form or imagination of God and is claiming that as absolute and as the only true understanding. So, in a sense, even monotheism in truth is a form of dualism. Because an absolute absolute God is always man-made and therefore is not uh, tolerating other gods or God uh, ideas of God, other types of realization of God on its side. And that alone is already showing that only a relative size is being put to absolute because the truly absolute is not in any rivalry with the relative. The absolute is not exclusive but inclusive. It includes the relative in itself and it is that through which everything relative is connected and derives a meaning from. Very important. And that which is in this essay here been described as all-encompassing God realization is not monotheism but, in fact, spiritual theism. And according to the spiritual theism, God is conscious, undivided unity, an individual, and this unity can only be realized and experienced in the consciousness of pure, uh, unmotivated, or without any selfish motivation, love as reality. If we have this consciousness of pure, selfless love, then we can experience the reality of that supreme individual consciousness, the Absolute God. And that pure form of love is God's will. Love is the completeness of free will. Because love is always based on free will. We can therefore also say, God wants the fullness, completion of our free will highest state of our free will because in that unity we are conscious consciously connected with the absolute source from which we receive everything what we need to 
live in that love. And one who is not in the consciousness of divine love is not directly connected with the source and therefore needs to derive everything which he or she uh, thinks to need from the own ego and from other living entities, <clears throat> which is the state most of us are in. So, if one is in that separated consciousness, one is actually uh, depending on other living entities as an energy source for oneself. And here we have the archetypal uh, point uh, of the beginning of any um, exploitive mentality. That's where it's coming from. That's why this whole discussion is so relevant to all of us. Who, however, is acting from the consciousness of divine love, of bhakti, does not need to justify his or her any ego agendas and does not need to employ other people for his or her own use and exploit, manipulate, recruit, missionize, etc. Because ego is false ego is a false self-identification. So one is identifying with material uh, connections certain material objects, belongings, or ideologies, mental constructs, etc. So one is identifying with something one is not, and that is Maya. Or, in the meaning of the word, that which is not, as it seems. Not the world of duality is illusion or Maya, as atheistic monists say or call their negation of duality. Maya, on the contrary, is a state of consciousness which is referring to something which I am not. which is therefore contrary to that which I truly am, namely an eternal part of God. The world of material emanations is also a reality. It's a relative reality. Whereas the individuality the spiritual absolute reality. Whereas the individual, the T, the individuality is the spiritual absolute reality, which is uh, containing and enlivening everything, including the relative reality of matter. So, I think we have one more video to go. That means part number 15. So thank you again for tuning in and um, 
you know if you liked what you heard then please click the button thumbs up and uh, for the benefit of all share if you care may the om love be with you jai radhe shyam